There's no need for lead in any consumer product, especially ones that children have. With serious consequences for children, health professionals like Carla Johnson at the Marion County Health Department are very concerned tonight about new findings that say some fidget spinners contain high amounts of lead, which can lead to serious health issues, including brain damage. The lifelong impact is there. So they're going to have trouble in school. Maybe there's ADHD. There's all of those other issues that take place. Um, in the school setting that are that create difficulty for the child. The new findings come from the U.S. Public Interest Research Group, which tested 12 fidget spinners sold at Target stores across the nation. Two came back with high levels of lead, the Fidget Wild Premium Spinner Brass and Metal Models. Both the retailer and Target say the items are still on shelves because the fidget spinner is marketed to children older than 14 years old and is not subject to the stricter standards of kids toys. If it says it's marketed for children over 14, then they don't have to take it off the shelves and these are popular and there's a lot of money to be made in those. So I'm not surprised by that. So what can you do? Today I tested a fidget spinner with the folks at the Marion County Health Department. They have technology that can test for lead levels in any consumer product. At least here in Marion County, we can allow them the, uh, the peace of mind to have their toys tested if they want. Then they can send them back to the manufacturer or back to the retailer to get their money back. Reporting in Indy, Brian Bondis, CBS 4 News.